All right, so two things I gotta check. Number one, let's 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 check this. Yep. And number two, let's check this. Hey Bixby, what's the high temperature today? Today, the high temperature is 96 degrees. With 47% humidity. Dethatch time. Fish walks into a bar and the bartender says, what do you have? And the fish looks at him and he goes, water. <sighs> Brad joke. Quick shower and a costume change later because that just got all sorts of funky. So yeah, had to get cleaned up. But just wanted to show this real quick. So earlier this morning, things were nice and green, looking good. And then the heat came on and I'm starting to see the lawn roast before my very eyes. And bear in mind, I gave it a deep, deep watering just the other day, so heat sucks. But it's good for dethatch, so let's talk about that. Dethatch, thatch digester. Let's dive into it. Let's chapter and verse talk about what it is how to use it and answer some of the questions that all of you threw my way on that community post that I made a few weeks ago. It's a soil and microbe food and it contains a live biological for the purposes of aiding in digestion of thatch. It's designed to work from the soil level up, speeding up the process of breaking down those clippings and turning them into fertilizer and organic matter. You've got simple and complex carbs, you've got yeast, you've got urea, you've got humic acid in there, all working together to help speed up and accelerate that decay process. One thing that you might notice after applying dethatch is a green up, and that's because the bacteria is going to work freeing up any kind of locked up nutrients that's in that decaying matter. One of the biggest benefits to dethatch is you're gonna help aid in breaking down thatch layers in lawns that you probably can't mechanically dethatch because of the cultivar or the time of season. So you're increasing the microbial activity to help break down that thatch layer at the soil surface and you're increasing heat. And that's why we say heat helps dethatch do its job. Once you get that heat going on in the thatch layer, it's gonna break that material down, releasing it as a food source for your turf. So we tell people to add this into their fertility programs, especially during the summer months. So June, July, August, and maybe even September. The rates that you're gonna use are gonna be six to nine ounces per thousand square feet every three weeks, depending on the thatch thickness that you have going on in your turf. And just like the other next products, you wanna make sure to shake it up well before you go to use it. That way you're getting all those goodies mixed up before putting it into your tank or your hose and sprayer. Now let's move on to some of the questions that all of you throw my way on dethatch. One of the most popular ones being, what's the temperature requirements? What's the minimum? Is there a maximum? All that good stuff. At a minimum, I would wait until your temperatures are consistently 85 degrees or higher. As far as a max temperature is concerned, there isn't one. Heat is gonna help dethatch do its job. I can't preach that enough. So if you can brave getting out on a day like today when it's 96 degrees and 47% humidity, that's gonna love it. You you might not, but dethatch is, dethatch is gonna love that. When can you expect to see results from your dethatch application? I personally have seen results within 48 hours 
on my own lawn, but I have a lot of customers that have seen results the very next day, only within 24 hours. Do you have to hold off on watering after you apply dethatch? The answer is no, you can water anytime. That being said, I like the idea of dethatch just sitting on the turf and letting it cook and bake in the sun for a little bit so they can start chewing away at that thatch layer and digesting that down into the soil and then watering over the top of that to just flush all those goodies down into the soil level so that you can flush the nutrients up into the turf. Will dethatch help with dead matted grass? Absolutely. Let's say you've had brown patch come into your yard, you had to eat up some of the turf, you got some nasty looking brown spots going on throughout the yard. Dethatch would be awesome to spray on something like that so they can chew away at that dead matted material, flush that down in the soil, and again, push any kind of nutrients that were locked up in that dead material into the turf. What is the best method for applying dethatch? Is it with the orthodialin spray hose in sprayer? Is it with the unicorn sprayer? Is it with a backpack sprayer? The answer there is whatever you have at your disposal. Any of those will work. What you choose there, I think, is gonna depend on the size lawn that you're tackling. If you got 3,000 square feet or below, ortho dial and spray all day long. If you've got anything about 4,000 to 5,000 square feet, all the way up to about 8,000 square feet, I would go with a four gallon backpack sprayer. Anything above 8,000 square feet, I would definitely get something like the unicorn sprayer or something with a large tank that you can mount onto an ATV or a riding lawnmower or something like that. By the way, one of the best things about D-Thatch is the same exact stuff the pros use, only difference is the size of the container and the size of the sprayer it's getting sprayed out of. And there it is. There's chapter and verse, dethatch, thatch digester. What other questions do you have for me? What did I leave out? Drop those in the comments section below. The heat is in full freaking swing. And since starting this video, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm just watching the lawn fry. So I definitely gotta give it a huge drink this evening when the sun goes down and temperatures are much, much cooler. But this dethatch application most certainly is going to help. I have not been bagging my clippings for the past couple of mows. The reason I was bagging my clippings was to just mow out those weeds. Those are pretty much gone. So I kicked the bagger off the mower and I've just been letting those clippings get down into the yard for the sole purpose of hosing them down with dethatch. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video, share it out, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get the notifications, all that good social media stuff. Keep on keeping on my long care brothers and sisters from other misters and I will catch you next time.